It has been a busy week. Mark and Craig Kilberger testified for four hours before the committee, and the Prime Minister and his Chief of Staff will be testifying tomorrow as of 3 o'clock Eastern noontime Pacific uh, before that same committee, answering no doubt tough questions from the Conservatives and also from the New Democrats. So let's bring in the leader of the NDP, Jagmeet Singh, who's joining us today from British Columbia. Mr. Singh, always good to see you. Thanks for taking a bit of time out of your day. Thank you so much. Pleasure to do so. What do you want to hear from Justin Trudeau? I want to know why the Prime Minister tried to give millions of dollars to his close friends instead of actually helping students. Because at the heart of this scandal, what we're learning as the evidence is coming forward, this was never about helping students, and it was always about helping close friends of the Prime Minister and of the Liberal government. And people expect that their government and that the Prime Minister work for people, people in need, and not to enrich the close friend, friends and family of the Prime Minister. That's what's wrong in all of this. Tell me what you're most concerned about, uh, Mr. Singh, about that relationship uh, between we, well, which goes back years, of course, as you know, uh, and the Trudeau family. Well, it's just, it's, it's inappropriate that, that Prime Minister Trudeau would award uh, a massive contract and millions of dollars directly to an organization when uh, what we should be doing is working on how to help people. So our, our work throughout this pandemic has been, how do we help people? How do we ensure no one is left behind? How do we make sure the government stops forgetting people like students and seniors and people living with disabilities? So we've been fighting for people, but it turns out all this while, the prime minister has been working behind closed doors to help his close friends. And that really erodes the public trust. I believe government can be a source of good. It can actually lift people up. And we've seen some very good programs that have helped people during this crisis. But when a prime minister is working to enrich his own family or his close friends, it really erodes that trust in the, that the public has in government. And that's something to me that's very problematic. I want to get your reaction as well to the finance minister, which is, you know, a whole other part of this story here. Family trips with we to Kenya and to Ecuador. And now, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, the uh, ethics commissioner is expanding his investigation to Bill Morneau. Well, we always knew from the beginning this wasn't just about uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. This was about the Liberal government. And uh, the finance minister was also implicated in the sense that his own family was directly employed uh, at, at, we, at the WE organization. There's also suggestions that uh, other members of the Liberal government are involved. So this does go deeper than just the Prime Minister. And it is encouraging to see that the uh, ethics commissioner has included the finance minister. But as the evidence comes forward, it's going to be more and more Liberal government members that are implicated in the scandal. The idea that government is using its position to enrich their friends and their family instead of focusing on making sure people that are in need, you know, all Canadians get help. The two brothers who founded WE 25 years ago, Mark and Craig Kilberger, as I mentioned, we heard from them for about four hours, and they, they certainly seem, Mr. Singh, to have been you know, blindsided by all of this, and they came under some, some rather pointed questions from both your party and from the Conservatives and the Bloc Québécois as well over the course of that four hours. What did you make of their testimony? Well, it seemed, I mean, in a lot of ways, very evasive. Um, you know, this is, uh, this is a serious matter, and it requires a serious attention. And, and there seems to be, again, this attempt to not really come out, be forthright with exactly what's going on. It seems to be a grudging attempt at releasing information. Uh, what we've seen is that uh, while the, the Kielberger brothers talked about uh, the chair resigning as a matter of fact, as just uh, as a course of normal action, it turns out the chair had resigned specifically because of transparency issues. And all of this is not to point to we. It's really to point to the, to the Liberal government. I mean, the fact that they're willing to give a massive contract and make it sound like this is the only way to help students when we are hearing more and more evidence that you know, the public sector said we could do this. We could have administered this program and it wouldn't have cost Canadians millions of dollars. We're already a part of the public service. We're already paid. Uh, we've heard ample evidence that there could have been other ways to help students quicker, directly uh, helping with more grants, expanding the Canada Summer Jobs Program, helping students that are struggling with debt. There's lots of ways to help students out in this difficult time. It didn't require creating a brand new program and then really just giving money to close friends of the Liberal government. That's just the wrong approach in all of this. The Prime Minister is set to speak for about an hour or so. The Conservatives are already saying that's nowhere near enough time. What's your take? We certainly need to have just full and open transparency and, and as much time as possible to get there. So there should not be a limitation. From the beginning, I've said the Prime Minister needs to be open, transparent, willing to waive cabinet confidentiality, 
and release all pertinent documents. We need to have as much time as possible to get to the heart of what's going on. There have been questions as well, and you spoke about it a moment ago, of transparency in all of this and also accountability, right, from the government and from this prime minister. What does that look like to you? Well, it's just that. I mean, if, if we want, if a government, if the prime minister and the liberal government really want to be transparent, then they need to waive the com cabinet confidentiality. How could this decision have been made in cabinet with all the ministers around the table when it is so obvious? I mean, this is something that a, a first year me member of parliament knows. You can't be involved in a decision to give money to a, a company or an organization where there's direct ties to your family. It's, it's an obvious thing where you step away. The fact that the prime minister and the finance minister both were at the table making that decision uh, and, and members of cabinet were there. You know, no one raised the concern that, hey, maybe there should be, uh, you know, a step of independence here. Maybe we need to have the prime minister and the finance minister step back from this decision. There's just a whole host of questions. And the government can, can be transparent. The Liberal government and Prime Minister Trudeau can. And they can do that by providing ample uh, time for testimony so that questions can be asked, all the documents, and waiving the confidentiality. Jagmeet Singh is the leader of the New Democrats, joining us today from Burnaby in British Columbia. Hey, always good to have you with us. Thanks for taking a bit of time. Thank you, sir.